So there's this hunger in the human experience and the human body itself, but also just in the human soul, this hunger to know the ordering power of love, a hunger to know divine presence. It's a huge hunger, actually. You can try to fulfill it with other things, but it won't be filled with other things. That hunger is what it is and can be only be fulfilled by the, the true object of the desire, which is to know divine presence, to know the power of the universe coming into us as a human soul. So what happens to that hunger when we step over the threshold and realize that it's our calling to be the, the living expression and embodiment of the ordering power of love in our world. What happens to the hunger? Well, let me put it to you this way. Do you think we as human beings are the only ones who hunger? Do you think it's possible that God it has hunger? That God has desire? And what is that desire? It's to bring peace to the world, to bring love to the world, to bring a natural order to the world, to create happiness for human beings, joy to the world, as it said, to bring blessing. Do you think that's a hunger? Do you ever feel that hunger on behalf of the creator? That deep, deep desire for the people around you and the world in which you live? There's another kind of hunger, not just wanting something for yourself, but it's the hunger of the creator, the hunger of being a creator to create in your world, to create something beautiful, to put an end to the nonsense and the misery that we tend to create for ourselves as human beings. Have you ever been with another person and wanted that? for them so bad you didn't know what to do? You ever watch the morning news and think, oh my God, I do not want that for this world. Even this morning. No, I'm, I'm hungry to bring something different. And I'm um, that hunger I experience as a power that wants to move through me into the world. I want to use a word that to me is symbolic of that desire and that urge and the power that's within us all, I believe, that wants to express through us and into the world. And the, the word is roar. And when we hear the word roar, maybe we think of a lion. The lion is a symbol of the Christ spirit. There's the roar of the lion within us all that wants to say something into this world. It is the roar of the Christ spirit. Another way to put it is it's the roar of the universal own, the cosmic own. The ohm is a, is a roar. It's the roar of creation. That roar wants to come through us, not pretending to be a lion, but the vibration of that roar in life wants to come through. The vibration of the creator. When we cross over the threshold, yes, there's a hunger and thirst to know something for ourselves and receive something, but that becomes the hunger and thirst of the creator and the power of the creator that comes through us as the roar of creation into our world, the vibration of creation, the message of, of the creator to our world. It's speaking through us in all things. <clears throat> 